Recap of prerequisite knowledge. The contribution margin. The contribution margin may be defined as the amount remaining from revenue from a unit after deducting variable expenses. It is the contribution that the sale of that item makes to help cover off fixed costs and contribute to the bottom line, aka profit. Contribution margin is a very important concept as it is used regularly in cost analysis to help in decision making. Contribution margin is used in break even calculations, cost volume profit calculations, constrained resource calculations, and more that you will see very, very shortly in a subsequent chapter. So, to recap what you've learned in prerequisite knowledge, the contribution margin may be expressed as a nominal figure in dollars or as a ratio. For expressing contribution margin in or CM in dollars, it is expressed as the unit price minus variable costs per unit equals CM. When talked about as a ratio, we look at the contribution margin ratio and it is depicted as the contribution margin divided by the sales price. I included this slide here because I wanted to demonstrate to you the relationship between our traditional income statement, our GAAP compliant, our IFRS, and our ASPE compliant uh, statement of financial performance, our income statement, alongside our contribution margin. So you'll see here in our traditional income statement has sales less the cost of goods sold equals the gross margin, less the selling general and administrative costs equals your net profit. So here you'll see that it's your sales minus your product costs equals your gross margin, less all of those period costs equal your net profit. Whereas here, when we're looking at items for break even, for cost volume profit analysis, for things like operating leverage, which will be new and we'll be getting into um, very shortly, we're looking at the same sales. So they are the exact same um, from between the traditional and the contribution margin statements. But here, we're looking at how do these costs behave? So we're looking at sales less variable costs to get to our contribution margin. And then we minus our fixed costs to get our net profit. So you'll see here, all this middle stuff is different, but the net profit is the same regardless if we have traditional or a contribution margin. So we start at the same place, end at the same place, but our cost of goods sold, they might be variable, they might be fixed, they might be both. And our selling general and min, same thing. Some might be variable, some might be fixed, or maybe have um, elements of both. So when we look at the traditional financial statements, those tend to be used by our external users uh, for our GAAP compliant IFRS or ASPE financial statements. These would be items such as our shareholders or other stakeholders such as competitors or potential future stakeholders, as well as management might see, um, may take a peek at how our company is doing towards other companies who also have GAAP compliant financial statements published. Our contribution margin tends to be for, tends to be not published um, and tends to be for management purposes. And what does management want to do? Management wants to maximize net profit, all other things being equal. So they want to understand the cost profile and the sales profile in a way that they understand, okay, if I do this, what is the likely outcome and shape their business accordingly. One example I'll use several times likely throughout the term is a project um, based on my own recent experience. Um, and that includes being the lead for a multi-year, multi-million dollar uh, budget where we are uh, administering uh, not not for profit actually. So we have other objectives. We want to maximize other objectives, which I will disclose more in future lectures. But essentially our net, net profit goal is to be zero, but we wanna make sure that our stakeholders, they care if what we're using as 
inflow is used most appropriately in outflows and the cost profiles, whether or not we are remunerating other contractors, other individuals in variable costs or fixed costs, having that understanding um, because we are not sure what our contributions, what, what our quote unquote, what we could call sales or inflows would be. And we need to make sure that we set up contracts and we set up incentives such that our our incentives to maximize effectiveness of the project are in line with the people that we are compensating to assist us in those objectives. So while we will often talk about net profit as the goal, the same concepts can be used for other enterprises, you know, socially uh, invested enterprises, not-for-profits, um, education-based platforms. Understanding these fundamentals can help you uh, in a number of different ways. Okay, time for a question. You have just started a fancy lemonade stand called Lemon Bucks and have hired one employee. For each glass of lemonade, you require one lemon at a price of $1.50 and 10 minutes of labor from your employee who is paid $24 an hour. A glass of fancy lemonade sells for $9. What is your contribution margin? The correct answer here is A, $3.50. Let's see how we calculated that. All right, so using the formula found here in slide three of this topic slide, I know that my contribution margin equals my sales unit price less my variable cost unit price. So here we have contribution margin is equal to sales minus variable costs, which we have two. We have direct materials and we have direct labor. We don't have any manufacturing overhead, which I suppose makes sense considering it is a fancy lemonade stand and you just hired one employee. Perhaps you don't have any inventory in these or probably any overhead in these early days. So contribution margin is equal to sales. You sell each one for $9 per glass. Each lemon, uh, each, pardon me, glass of linen, lemonade requires one lemon, $1.50. And I'm just gonna make this so it actually works. So we have our contribution margin would equal our nine minus our lemon minus. Now we have 10 minutes out of the total 60 minutes available from this employee and they get paid at $24 per hour. So now I would see a total contribution margin of $3.50. All right, that's it for me and this intro prereq series. I'll see you at the start of the course in our next video. Thank you.